Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video overview tutorial for the LSP White Linen Photoshop Action Set. These actions are compatible with Photoshop Creative Cloud, Photoshop CS5 and Photoshop CS6. These um, actions use several elements that are not compatible with Photoshop elements, so you do need to use these in the full versions of Photoshop for best results. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the actions into Photoshop and how to get started using them. After downloading from the website, you need to open up the white linen ATN file. Have Photoshop open. The easiest way to get this into Photoshop is simply to double click this file and it is loaded into your action palette. For troubleshooting or other methods of getting the Photoshop actions into Photoshop, you can visit the LSP Actions website at www.lsp-actions.com and click on the tutorial section. To view your action panel, come up here to Window and choose Actions. You'll also need to have your Layers panel selected too, so make sure you can see that. When the actions appear, they may be free-floating like this or they may be tagged into a tag group. I like to have them um, free floating or pulled in on the side here so the little blue line appears um, so they're tabbed in like that. The white linen actions will be open at the very bottom of your action panel here. In grey editing mode you can click on one of the actions. Each um, actual playable action has a little icon next to it and you can click on the play button down here. For example I've just played exposure lift. I much prefer to use button mode for the actions. So if you, I'm just going to pull this free floating a little bit for the video tutorial and set my screen up for you. To view them in button mode, this is coloured one click mode. You need to come up here to these little lines, this little burger menu and choose button mode. If your button mode looks a bit chaotic all over the place, you can simply grab um, on the left hand side and pull it in until it snaps into a nice neat column. And here you can see the LSP white linen collection. If you have lots of actions in here, you may have to scroll to find white linen at the bottom or you can simply drag it to the top. I'm just gonna tag them in here. Let's go up to the top. You see here it says white linen collection by LSP actions. You have five sections, the linen bases, these affect your whole image, for example the exposure lift I just played here, you can play these and they will affect your whole image. You'll notice a black brush has been selected for you, you can use these brushes to paint away the effect from any areas in your image you wish it not to show. Black means hide, you can see up here on the layer mask, black has appeared, it's a little bit like a lotto scratch card, black means hide. The next section is the white linen brushes. Um, these brushes will play and they will actually have a black layer mask, meaning you can use a white brush to make the effect show on your image. For example, Bleach Dramatic White in here, I've just clicked this one, it's playing out. A white brush has been selected. I'm just going to make that brush bigger. And you can see I can paint this on to any areas of the image I wish for it to show. I recommend your brush settings to be 100% opacity around 25 to 30% flow. Your brush mode needs to be normal. If it's anything other than normal, do please go ahead and change that to normal and use a soft round brush for best results, but you can play with your brush settings. After the linen and brushes, which affect um, areas in your image, you have the fill light painters. The fill lights add a light source either to the right, the left or the center. These are really good for brightening up um, where your original lighting is coming from to for kind of intensify or if you want to add um, a fill light to the opposite side to your original lighting to lift the shadows. The next section is the skin and tone brushes. So here you can save out um, blown out skin, you can warm up the skin tones, you can get rid of reds and blues and greens and yellows. Um, and you also have skin foundations to colour the skin. I'm going to show you those in a bit when we go through the edit. Skin smooth detail enhancement and a pin sharp brush. And then at the bottom we have the finishing image washes. Um, each wash will play out over your image to create a beautiful um, white finish. We have different colour washes, muted, mattes, contrast, all sorts of things. Again, I'm going to go over those with you in just a moment. So let me clear the layers panel and we can get started editing this image here. This image is raw, um, out of camera, 
shot here. All I've done is crop in a little bit and straighten because I shot this on a bit of an angle. <laughs> so I'm going to get started up here using the white linen bases. These bases are great, they affect your whole image. You can play them more than once. For example, I've just explained, um, played exposure lift hard, or you can play it once and slide the opacity, whatever suits you. So I'm just gonna bring the exposure there until I'm happy with that one. The exposure lift hard is, um, you will notice like some areas becoming very, very bright. It's more of a contrasty um, lift. If you'd prefer a more gentle approach, you can use exposure lift gentle here, or a combination of the two. So I'm just playing with the opacity of those until I'm um, happy with the exposure of the image. A lot of the time with the whites, getting that exposure right really is that first step. Next up, we have neutralized the white balance. So I'm gonna play this one now, and that's gonna uh, neutralize some of those tones in the image. You have an opacity slider up here, so you can pull it down to see the original and pull it up to see the full neutralize effect. I recommend sliding this going down and sliding it up until you can see any kind of um, colour in the white starting to disappear, but not going too far. So I'm really paying attention to the white areas here, not so much those shadows. So just those three actions, we already have a much clearer white image. Also in this section, we have a smart pure whiten. This is if you really want a beautifully crisp pure white. Again, a black brush has been selected so you can paint this off any areas you don't want it to show. So the before and after. Rest cover blown highlights. This is if it, you have an area of your image, perhaps if the light was too close to the background, um, you have any kind of blown out areas, that one is really good for saving some of those. And again, a black brush has been selected for you. You can paint this off any areas you don't want it to show. Rescue skin tones and shadows. This again is if the skin is too bright there. You can see there before and after. It's just added some darkness back into that skin. And salvage overexposed. This image is not overexposed, but if for some reason you overexpose your image, you can play this action and it will salvage um, as best it can an overexposed shot. So it's a really handy one to have. A lot of the time when we shoot whites, we think about it's all about brightening, but sometimes we go a little bit too far and we need to salvage. Next up is the white linen brush section. On each of these sections, you have instructions here. You see play instructions. You can click this for a little instruction box to pop up. Um, this just gives you a little bit of a reminder about what each section does. You have crisp, lift and brighten. Play that one there. So you can use that in any areas that you need to perhaps paint the shadows away. Um, literally does exactly what it says on the tin, anywhere you need to lift and brighten up. Bleach Dramatic Whiten um, is much more stronger, so let's just play that one out. I have a few little shady areas here, so I think bleach would be really good for those ones. So I'm just painting that on. I'm using rather a large white brush here. You can change your brush size by using the square bracket keys on your keyboard, or you can right click and um, change the size here. That's just a little bit of bleach there. Intense white blowout is even stronger than bleach. I don't need that for this image, but if you really, really need to intensify areas of your whites, um, as you can see, that really is um, whitening up the image a lot. Smart whiten um, is if you have an area of your image that you need to kind of adapt and turn it to white, perhaps um, there's a little bit of yellow toning or purple or anything like that. You need to lift it and brighten it up you can use that action there to smartly whiten areas in your image. You have Dusk Recover Highlights. That's if you have any areas that are blowing out a little bit too much there. So for example here, I'm just gonna use a little bit of that one. Boost Lift the Shadows. That's if you have any shadows that look too dark. I don't have those in this image, but if you, you, know, you had a really dark, harsh shadow, you can do that to lift the shadows. Depth and Contrast Kick is really nice if you're going for, um, kind of a very um, contrasty image there, you can just add that in to add a little bit more depth. Splash is bring back the colour, so if you have um, areas that are looking a little bit washed out um, after whitening, you can use that just to add some colour back in. You can paint that on or off with black or white and slide the opacity as with all the brushes. Sample and paint, we don't need that for this image, but this is a really handy um, manual action. What this one will do 
is um, come up to tell you a colour picker box is going to pop up. So you can highlight an area you wish to sample and pick and colour and you can paint that on um, just to kind of, that, that really helps if you need to purely whiten a background if you're um, painting on a backdrop for example or a blanket that needs a kind of a solid white tone or any tone really. Next up we have the fill light painters. Again you can play the instructions here and you can choose fill lights right, left or centre. Um, I'm going to choose fill light left because the light in my image is coming from the left and I just want to boost that up a little more. A black brush has been selected so I'm just going to paint that off any areas I don't want that to show. And just bring that opacity up a little bit. You could use it to um, also to kind of fill light um, from the side that your light is not coming from. So for example, my right is not coming, um, my light is not coming from the right. So I'm going to play that one there and you see it's actually added a light source coming in from that angle now. But I'm going to remove those, don't need those for this image. Next up is the skin tone brushes. The white linen is, an, is not a full skin editing set. For those, you're going to probably want the Portrait Studio Vogue um, or the Signature Newborn or the Cake Smash or depending on what you shoot. White linen is more for balancing the whites, but it does come with a complementary skin section. You have brushes to brighten up the skin, deepen shadows, save out any blown out skin. I'm going to play that one just because you can see the arm there. And I'm just going to play that one over this area here where it's a little bit blown out bright. So you can see that's just saving some of the blown out areas there. I don't really want to overdo it, so I'm just going to take the opacity down, but it really does depend on your image. You have warmer skin tones, cooler skin tones, um, chill the red. So if you have any red areas in your image, you want to kind of cool down um, and adapt more for a white look, you can play those on. Again, this image, the reds aren't very intense. So I'm just going to take that opacity down a little bit. You can also banish blues, greens, yellows and magentas. And then you have the skin foundations. You have vanilla bean, which is for pale skin, walnut, which is for media skin, and coffee, which is for dark skin. So because this little girl's very light, I've played vanilla, vanilla bean, and what this is doing is painting on a really sweet, kind of warm, bright um, skin tone that really complements whites. Porcelain Skin Smoother. This is a little complimentary action because like I said white linen isn't really for the skin. Um, I recommend using a full set for there, but you do have skin smoothing, skin toning and um, detail brushes here, which is really, really handy. So let me just show you those up close. So I'm just using a white brush just to paint this skin smoothing on there. And that just adds a dreamy creaminess to the skin. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Bouncing about a little bit, I am sorry. Detail enhancement here. So that one's just playing out now. Again, all these brushes select the right brush for you. You can just go in, change the size and paint it on. You can see we're picking out the details now. Details are a little cheeky. I'm use the hero skin tone actually on this guy too, just to save some of those whites there that are a little bit blown out. And at the end, you have the image washes. Um, you have a tilt shift side. This blurs the edges, but it also gives you a brush so you can paint on or take away more blur. Just actually, before I do that, I'm just going to take some of the yellow out just from around the edges here. I don't want the background pure white, I do want to leave a little bit of depth in for this image. Okay, sorry. So, image washes, these play out um, and affect your whole image. So, you have the blur, this can blur areas. Polish adds a contrast finish to your image. And again, you can slide the opacity if you want to. Really just depends on the finished look you want to go for. Frosted glass adds a little, sweet little matte feel um, if you don't want to go kind of the opposite of contrast and mattify the image there. Uh, little Dove is a calm blue and green kind of overlay. 
Um, not for this image, I don't think, but it really does depend on what you're shooting and the kind of the final result. I recommend trying it out and seeing what you think. Swan mutes the whites down a little bit if you want to kind of calm the white tones and create that really kind of sweet, soft look to your image. Vintage is an antique kind of cheery, rosy wash that goes over the top. Again, very soft and sweet and very gentle. Candy Floss um, does exactly what it says on the tin, pinks everything up. Cloud um, will give a hazy whiteness to your image. Peach is a really kind of nice tinted warm wash. So if your image is looking a little bit cold and you want to warm it up, and with all of these, just like with the other sections, you can play with the opacity there. There is really something for everyone. You have the black and white. This will create several layers for you. You have your black and white layer, and above this you have contrast, high key and matte. So you can turn these on or off um, to suit your image. You can also add additional layers in there if you wanted to. And you can go ahead and save that as a black and white version. Just remove these. And last but not least, you have the Facebook Deep Linen Frame. Now what this will do, it's going to create a brand new image for you to be able to share on Facebook or on your website or other social media such as Instagram. It's not affecting your original image, this is creating a brand new image here. So you can see the original is here. This has created a brand new untitled image and you can see it's put your image in this really sweet frame. This is already sized for optimal Facebook and online sharing. You don't need to resize, it's already been shrunk down and sharpened up for you. Um, so you can simply add your watermark and save. If you don't want to use the frame, come up here and just turn it off. And there is your image resized perfectly for Facebook. Or there it is within the frame. So that's just a really sweet little extra that comes with this set. So that's editing using the LSP White Linen Photoshop Action Collection. Show you a before and after. Now I've used rather a lot of layers and actions in this because I really wanted to show you what different things did. And you can check out the other video tutorials for other image edits. Um, they will move a lot quicker than this one. This one is a little bit more slow. The other ones it's going to be more of a watch over my shoulder as I, as I edit videos. But I will still explain um, exactly what I do in those videos. And you can get the White Linen Action Set at www.lsp-actions.com. You can also watch the tutorials, see the FAQs and the troubleshooting and the installation section. Um, and you also can contact me via email via the site or in the LSP Actions group. So enjoy the White Linen Actions. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.